Stefan Chesney cannot be pigeonholed. In art, there are no borders. The artist must approach the individual. Stefan Chesney goes to where his public are in order to inspire them with his concepts. Stefan Chesney thinks in art and expresses this through his art. He views his work as complete and without restrictions. Stefan Chesney loves the pulsating vitality of the city, but also treasures the solitude of an island, which is where he met the British actor, Piers Brosnan. I met Stefan in Mystique, this magical place of uh, rock stars, movie stars. Within this wonderful mix of people was Stefan and his art. His art just really blew me away, blew both of us away. Fresh, vibrant and sexy. That's how we met. <laughs> Stefan and I, the painting, this is our second painting that you see today. We painted one other time in Mustique. And I'm a, an enthusiastic painter. He is an artist. <laughs> Home for Stefan Chesney is Saint-Tropez and the Côte d'Azur, where he lives with his wife, Ava, and his two sons. For many years, the Blue Coast has attracted many artists. They have all been seduced by the quality of light, and this is now where Stefan Chesney has located his artistic homeland. Art history permeates modern life, and Stefan Chesney needs both for his work. Through the past and in the perspective of the here and now, his pictures emerge. In Saint-Tropez, Stefan Chesney has found the place of his dreams, enabling him to live without craving. Chesney wants to find the exact point where intensity is at its peak, where life becomes almost physical, where one forgets to worry about what was and what Und might be. Moment, den will ich it's this moment I want to capture and pass on, so that my paintings trigger the same emotions I felt when I was painting them.
Many people place themselves above nature, and they become lifeless. They forget how to observe, how to allow themselves to be charmed, how to flirt with the world, and most importantly, they lose the freedom to be open, which is what really counts. When there is no light, no atmosphere, Chesney says, then everything inside him dies too. South of France, Saint Tropez. This is Chesney's true home. Here, all elements of Oriental culture merge with incredible light and the most beautiful nature. This is his working base, the source of his inspiration. The most important painters of the recent past have worked here. For example, Matisse and Picasso. Situated at the center of the Mediterranean, a synthesis of Greek, Roman, North African, and French influences, it is today one of the most international places in Europe. Ich bin natürlich durch it was a literary process in my head that made me want to find a different way of expressing myself, to find a different language. And because art stems from art, I was intrigued and influenced by other painters, the same way someone decides to make movies because he has been inspired by other movie makers. Here in Saint-Tropez, he lives with his children and his wife Eva, the love of his life. She is the central theme of his work, the allegory of life, of desire, beauty, tenderness and passion, the basis of many paintings.
It is here that he can find his inner balance, far away from the busy comings and goings of life. The slow pace of life is all part of Stefan Chesney's artistic practice. His pictures are the ambassadors who carry his ideas of harmony and beauty into the world. Art that is preoccupied with nature can only emerge in a natural environment. Stefan Chesney wants to sense the wind, to hear the sound of the sea, and to feel the sand and stones under his feet. Only in this way, art can emerge and be presented credibly and can communicate. His art is a symbiosis of fantasy and reality, the goal being to sensitize the beauty in nature. Those who love beauty also protect it. Ceramics has, in time, become an important element of his artistic work. For Stefan Chesney, ceramics are the ideal medium. One needs an extensive knowledge of materials and a lot of experience with temperatures up to 1400 degrees Celsius in order to achieve the best results. For Stefan Chesney, working with ceramics is a natural continuation of his painting. I think it I think that what is extraordinary is to compare oneself to nature, to enter into a dialogue. Nature is naturally totally turbulent and not calculable, and to set art in relation to this turbulence, in this permanent process of development, interests me a great deal. I have the very strong feeling that, after the classic modern age and the totally abstract, there is simply now an emptiness that has come to art, which can be overcome if one goes back to nature and looks carefully at nature once again. Even if one stays relatively distant from its abstractness, the tension still remains and life returns.
For Chesney, the exhibition at the Museum La Malmaison in Cannes was the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. He considers it to be a great honour to be able to exhibit there during his lifetime, because before him, the museum only showed artwork posthumously. Among those artists were such icons as Picasso, Braque and Matisse. Of course, conflicts have played a major role in Chesney's life too. He has painfully dealt with political issues and the shortcomings of society. Chesney compares this stage to puberty, a phase that is common not only to teenagers, but society and humankind in general. And when one day you move past this phase, you are finally able to breathe. I had heroes like Jean-Paul Sartre. I used to have heroes like Jean-Paul Sartre, who went onto the streets for their causes. But that phase has gone by, like the noises children make in kindergarten. Other, calmer things have become important, which does not mean that passion and intensity are not part of my life too.